Unpacking Kate Middleton Conspiracy Theories Amid a Tangle of Royal News We may be in the middle of the most brutal royal schedule of our lives. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss anything about the British royal family. Members of the royal family thought they were being transparent when Kensington Palace announced on January 17 that Kate Middleton had been hospitalized after undergoing abdominal surgery, and would remain out of the public eye for at least three months. Then on the same day, Buckingham Palace announced that King Charles III was being treated for Ross State enlargement. This was information from the least conspicuous families in England. Then, just when it looked like the king was back at work, the palace announced the next day that the 75-year-old king would be undergoing treatment for cancer and would not be making any public engagements for the foreseeable future either. Although Charles has not revealed any further details about his condition, including the type of cancer he has, this information is significantly more than what was provided to the public in 1952 before his maternal grandfather, King George VI, died of lung cancer when he was only 56 years old. A shocking turn of events considering the palace gave no indication of how serious his condition was. However, although King Charles continues his royal business behind closed doors, he has certainly left more questions than answers in his wake. For a public whose former queen lived to the age of 96 in a state of relative power until the last year of her life, this glimpse of her son's utter human frailty was not the news they were expecting. With the family now out of full-time work, there has been some wishful thinking that Prince Harry could be called upon to fill some sort of royal role while his father recovers. But although Harry travelled to the UK to visit King Charles in the wake of his cancer diagnosis despite the recent bad blood, it was also a reminder of the deeper estrangement between him and his brother, Prince William. The two reportedly did not see each other during Harry's short time in the city and Meghan Markle did not make the trip with her husband. William commented publicly on Kate and Charles' health issues for the first time on February 7, thanking well-wishers for their kind messages of support for Catherine, and for his father while at an air ambulance charity dinner in London. As the family continued to be rocked by these health crises, then came the shocking news of Thomas Kingston, husband of Charles' second cousin Lady Gabriella Kingston, apparently committed suicide on 25 February at the age of 45. On February 27, the same day Thomas' death was announced, William did not go to a memorial service for his godfather, King Constantine II of Greece, who died aged 82 in January 2023 after suffering a stroke at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, citing personal reasons. Also that day, Kensington Palace issued its first update on Kate in a month, saying, The Princess of Wales, who is recovering from abdominal surgery, remains doing well.